Arion, this is your homecoming game. How excited are you to play in Nashville? I'm um, very excited. Just knowing um, I get an opportunity to play in front of some of my family and friends that don't get to make it to Kentucky, um, not able to drive, can't go out the um, state. So, man, it's just a blessing. Um, God work always. So, um, it's just a blessing that he's allowed me to play in front of my family and friends. How many tickets have you requested? A lot. <laughs> Ask anybody on the team. I'm big for tickets. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, a little bit. You got some competition with some other Middle Tennessee guys asking for tickets too, probably, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. All around friends just asking for tickets. Yeah, you know, I'm trying my best to get as many tickets as I can. Are people asking you where to go or what to do? Um, yeah, of course. I'm just telling them go downtown, go to Broadway, go have fun, um, be safe, love my boys. Number one restaurant recommendation. Chris. Chris. I honestly don't even eat there, but <laughs> <laughs> it should be good. <laughs> what does it mean to you to play in the stadium? Or, and have you before? Um, yes, actually I have. When I was um, 7 and 8, they let us play uh, at the Titans halftime. I, I wanted to score so bad, but I didn't get to score. So, um, man, just knowing I get another opportunity um, to score in the NFL stadium, one of my dreams. Um, man, honestly, just feel good, blessed. So I'm just working hard, trying to, you know, stay on the right path. Hopefully, you know, wish I could have been. Obviously, you're, try, you're trying to show out on Saturday, of course. Of course, of course. But uh, I mean, you got you see guys dancing and stuff this time of the year. Um, how cool is is it to have that balance finally of like the benefit of your rewards, but also trying to go out there and, and win a game? Um, honestly, feel good knowing that. Me and all my brothers are on the same page. Since out here having fun, I mean, if we want to be out here, we want to do this. We don't, you don't see too much people groaning and walking, you know, showing lack of discipline. Everybody's out here working hard, grinding hard, and just most importantly, having fun. That's all Coach preach about. Make sure you have fun when you're doing it, because if you're having fun, that means you really want to do it, you really like it. So just seeing, you know, my boys, Dane, and all of us playing around, and just make me feel good knowing that we all on the same page and we all got the same goal in mind. You want to have a huge game. I could throw a bunch of numbers out there, but how do you make sure that you stay, you know, within your game to make sure that it's not a big disappointment? Um, just just making sure I play my game. I, I well, everybody would know I would want to have a show in front of my hometown, but just making sure I'm staying on my game. I'm um, going at the pace of the game, not trying to rush things or um, you know getting mad that I'm not getting the ball and this nature. Just you know, just staying in the game, making sure my head on. Um, I do have a family I'm trying to um, put on for. So, you know, just making sure I'm doing the little things right and hopefully the big things will come. And, and you have done it once this year, but what's it like preparing for a game without Will Levis? Um, honestly, man, love Will, love Will, but we got great quarterbacks. All our quarterbacks are great. So, um, you know, just building building chemistry with them, them guys, you know, having fun with them guys. I love Will to death. Love Will to death, though. What's it been like hearing more of, uh, of the big dog? out there at, on the offensive side of the ball, him, you know, calling plays and whatnot. Man, he's funny. Love him. Love him to death. Um, he just been preaching to us to make sure, you know, we doing everything we need to do right so, you know, we can have one of the best games of, you know, our lives. And he's talking to everybody. Everybody want to have a big game. So, you know, just making sure that everybody's standing on the same page and we're not, you know, like lacking or slacking. So just making sure everybody on the right page. What have you seen from uh, Destin Wade during practice, a quarterback, another Nashville guy? Um, the things I've been seeing since I met him, honestly, um, we played seven on seven. Worked out a couple of times. Great quarterback. Love him. That's my brother for life. Love Destin. Love you, Destin. <laughs> How cool would it be to have a uh, Destin Wade to Barry and Brown connection on the field? Oh, that's going to be great. We already got a handshake ready. We've been having this handshake for so long. So <laughs> How many years have you had that plan? <laughs> About two. <laughs> About two. All right, we asked Barry in this. This is a homecoming game for you and your brother. How excited are you? I'm very excited. Just knowing everybody in the stands, all my family and friends coming. It's just uh, really special to play in this bowl and play in my hometown. How many tickets have you requested? Uh, I've, I've uh, gotten all my tickets like already done, the six we had, but I haven't requested any, but they're all filled up for sure. How cool is it, you know, to have this, this opportunity to end the season on a, on a high note, but to also just get back out here with some of these guys for the last time and, have a little bit of fun too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a it's a big big game. Uh, 
it's all about fun out here for sure. And I like how Coach Stoops keeps it loose out there in practice, but we still got to keep our grind and keep working and uh, try to be the best we can be. But I'm excited for it. Have you, have you thought about playing at Nissan Stadium? Oh uh, yeah, I have. I've never actually uh, played since I, I'm here, but this is my first time playing, so I'm, I'm gonna be really excited. Uh, like fun fact, I watched uh, the Music City Bowl like when I was Pee Wee, and I'd get to go out on the field, so it's like kind of full circle thing. I get to play here my freshman year, so it's pretty cool. How important is this game? You know, uh, Jack Webb was talking about you know setting the, the tone for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, you and some of the other younger guys. What has been you know the vibe? And setting that tone as well yourselves. Yeah, definitely. Just the younger guys get to step up with uh, some people leaving through the transfer portal and other things, injuries. So uh, there's a bunch of new and young guys get to step up and showcase their talents like me. And then uh, I'm just excited to get out there and see what we can do. What, do you remember late night music city? Uh, I'm not sure. It was okay. a while ago, but if I looked it up, I could definitely okay. tell you. And, and then what's it like you? Uh, you know, your brother, obviously, you're on different sides of the field. Uh -huh. What have you seen from him in his development? Uh, I've seen him get better every day. He just keeps working hard every day out there after practice, just keeps throwing it. And I'm just very proud of him, see how he, far he's came, and uh, just using his talents for God's glory. Any Nashville recommendations for fans coming down, favorite restaurants, things to do? Uh, my favorite brunch re restaurant is the Hampton Social. It's got good breakfast food. And that's the type of guy I am. I like breakfast, so uh, Hampton Social. What's your go-to breakfast order? Uh, probably an omelet with like hash browns and then um, some orange juice. Oh, apple juice. Apple juice. Everybody good? All right. Thank Thanks you very much. What do you think I can practice? Uh, can you say it again? What's the attitude been like in practice? Uh, really, we just, everybody having fun. Everybody having fun, but we know at the end of the day, uh, we got a game to play, so it's, we still having fun, but we still we still got to handle business. So that's really the attitude. What's it like to have the first one here, and, and does that kind of, you know it's like coming soon, the game is? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's big for me because, you know, I didn't get a chance to play on last year because I was out with an injury. And I've been out the whole season with an injury, so coming to play this game, it's, it means a lot to me. And also, it also means a lot to everybody else on the team. And knowing that we got another opportunity, it's our last time we're gonna be together, so we gotta make it count. Is it talk basically, you know, we put a stamp on the end of the season with positivity? Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Most definitely, because we know at the, this right here is going to set it off for next year for the next team that's coming up. So it's always good to, you know, get this win because you don't want to go into the next season with a bad taste in your mouth. And you got to live uh, with that throughout training and everything. So we want to go out there and handle business. As a leader on this team, you just said it, you know, it's about setting the tone for next year. And there's so many young guys that are going to get a shot to play on Saturday, a lot of older guys could you know, be moving on and say, I, well, I, you know, I got other things to worry about. Why is it important for you uh, to kind of help those guys grow up as well? Uh, really just for me, could they give somebody, you know, who's who's been through a lot, been through a lot, and I could be here with these younger guys, you know, I could have had a chance to, you know, opt out, you know, get healthy, you know, for the next level. But for me, like, it, I, I love Kentucky. So I'm gonna go out, you know, cause nobody knows what the NFL not guaranteed. So I'm gonna play this game like my last, and I'm gonna give it, give it all, and show the young guys that hey, when you get to my level, hey, you still gotta lead by example. You were talking about the young guys. Which young guys have kind of stood out to practice in you so far? Uh, really everybody. This team's gonna be special next year. You know, they got they signed a great recruiting class. Got some on the offensive side. So when wherever I'm gonna be next year, I'm gonna make sure I'm be tuned in, watching all the games, and try to get back to one because it's a special young group, and they they, they just gotta go to work. But they know that they know what they got to take care of business. So I'm, I'm excited to see their future. What have you seen from, uh, you know, you've been on the sideline, had a different view. What have you seen uh, from Destin Wade and, and his growth this season? I feel like he, he's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. But you also got young guys like Dion. You also got, they, they're young, but they not as like Trevin and DJ. Like the whole group's going to be, uh, it's going to be a special unit. I hate to say it, they might be a little better in our defense, but hey, that's how you want it to be. Anything else? All right. Good deal. Thanks, Thanks man.